this is fantastic. Thanks for coming, everyone. All right. Well, they told us in this class that we had to keep it less than five minutes. I told him, I assure you that won't be a problem. Five minutes is an elusive benchmark that a lot of us have been trying to make. But as my mom told me, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, and try again, right? Well, the other thing they didn't tell us, this is our first time up here, some of us, this microphone vibrates like a sex toy from the triple X Megaplex up in Bradenton. <laughs> or as some of you might be more familiar, giggles right down the street. Well, I'll tell you, I got married just under a year ago. <laughs> it's fantastic to be a newlywed in your, in your 50s. We do, um, we cuddle, we hold hands, we do a lot of fun stuff. We take a shit ton of selfies to make all of our friends gag. It's fucking adorable, I'm telling you. One of the things we like to do is we like to travel. I like to squeeze a square peg in a round hole any time I get a chance, so we decided to slip in a trip at Christmas time. From here to Southern California, wine country for a weekend. Hmm, okay, as soon as we decide to do that, my wife, she had more plans than Ferris Bueller on his day off. <laughs> well, we traveled all day, all night, it was, it was a pain in the ass, but we got there and we went to our rental car uh, company and they said, we have a brand new convertible. Would you like to upgrade? <laughs> In our haze of travel, we said, it's Southern California, baby. Of course we want to upgrade. So, well, we get up there in the parking lot and there's this shiny white European convertible. It sits about this high and about this far off the ground. I told you we like to travel. I didn't tell you we were good at it. We had six bags for a four day fucking trip. So I look at this pile of shit over here and I'm thinking, <laughs> how am I gonna get that in there? The trunk was the size of the glove box in my truck. Well, more importantly, I'm thinking, how am I gonna get this down there? I had to contort myself like I was in a limbo contest at Club Med. But once I was down in that little thing, it looked like a spaceship. Felt like a bread box, looked like a spaceship. There were buttons, there were knobs, there were dials, there were screens, there was a goddamn hologram on the dashboard. There was nothing that looked like a shift. Well, it took me 10 minutes to figure out how to get this bitch going. We piled in and we navigated to the highway. An 18 lane highway where the minimum speed is 80 miles an hour. Have any of you been to Southern California? You know what I'm talking about then. And we're in a strange town at night. Well, I got this thing up to 85, and I will tell you, that little bitch was awesome to drive for a minute. <laughs> what they didn't tell us was really cold in California, and all of a sudden, the windshield started to fog. But my wife, being a fantastic navigator, she hits the little button, the little V with the wavy things on it. Seemed intuitive enough. <laughs> oh, not in this thing. All of a sudden, a mist of condensation across the entire windshield in seconds. She's pushing buttons, moving knobs, slapping the hologram and screaming at Siri saying, make it stop! And I'm hanging out the window of this death trap on our, on our highway to hell trying to keep it in the middle of the lane. Well, we made it to our villa on the hill in wine country in Southern California. It was beautiful, beautiful. We started through the gate and as I rolled our beautiful sit our beautiful convertible up the gravel road with three inches of clearance, I heard <laughs> and I turned to Rachel and said, I think we're gonna be buying a BMW bumper for Christmas. <laughs> Fortunately, we didn't have to, but that entire weekend we had that top down for 15 friggin' minutes. And we spent $500 on Uber rides because it's wine country. Well, the way I see it, folks, there's a little lesson to be learned in every experience. If, you're got, if you've got your eye on a little sports car, a little convertible, or a Corvette, which seemed very popular here, it ain't all it's cracked up to be. If you really want to impress your lady, 
I think it might behoove you to drive up to that triple X megaplex in Bradenton or right over here to Giggles. Get yourself a little 10 speed something or other and take it home and give her for a four minute ride. <laughs> it's hump day, y'all. Thank you for coming. Set up a little bit for